what's good youtube back at you with another video today we're going to be doing an eyebrow video in today's barber industry we do a lot more than just fade people up so a lot of male clients are asking for their eyebrows cleaned up and done and whatnot so that's what we're doing today as you can see i got the retro t cuts and we're just uh I'm, what i'm doing with the eyebrow is i'm over directing the hair underneath they're knocking out some of the bulk that hangs over and now i'm redirecting the hair the other way the opposite way above the eyebrow and we're going to go ahead and knock down hair just as well. Now, when I'm doing eyebrows, I use two tools, well, three tools total, and that is the brush, the uh, trimmers, and also the razor. So now we're just going to flip them over on the other side and uh, get those uh, eyebrows directed, direct the hair downwards, and just knock out any bulk. Now, after we do this, just like the other eyebrow, we're going to redirect the hair above the eyebrow and we're gonna knock out any hair that hangs over on top of the eyebrow. Now this just kind of trims down the eyebrow so that way you don't have a lot of long hairs and whatnot. Um, after I do this, I'm gonna go ahead and take the razor and we're just gonna start shaping it. Now with male eyebrows, you wanna make sure that you ask your client what type of style they're going for. Maybe they have a picture of eyebrows that they like. Um, and you want to go from there that way you have a good shape you know you don't want their eyebrows to be too thin or too thick for their liking so always remember a client consultation is always necessary um, right now we're going to take the razor what we're doing is spreading the skin of the eyelid and we're shaping up underneath getting all that hair that's underneath bald and uh, get that that nice shape that we were trying to achieve and you want to make sure you spread the skin in this area because the eyelid is a very loose um, type of skin. And if you don't stretch the skin out, you're just going to be dragging that blade across skin and it's going to pull. So now that I got that side knocked out, we're going to go ahead and do the opposite side. In this side, you can see a little bit closer and you can watch the shape of the eyebrow take form. I'm using the 245 razor cartridge. Shout out to 245. Uh, you can follow them at official 245 on Instagram great products they have shave gels uh, razors they have merchandise they got uh, uh, wax and pomades and whatnot I'll go ahead and check them out but as you can see we got our eyebrows all shaped up and right now I'm just gonna stretch the skin and shape up underneath the eyebrow now doing these eyebrows you know it just gives more of a clean clean cut uh, look to the client you know, you have the like the razor sharp edge up going on. You got the mustache all manicured and razored, and this just kind of adds to that clean cut look. I myself get my eyebrows done as well. You know, I'll either get it done at the shop by uh, one of my coworkers, or I'll go get them waxed. Honestly, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take care of the unibrow section, uh, the hair that's stuck between the eyebrows. You know, we're not trying to be Anthony Davis out here, but um, yeah, man, add this service to your uh your repertoire your arsenal and uh save people from having to go get them waxed you know you're, you're saving them a trip and you're making some money so add that to your services but as you can see here we got the finished final product eyebrows nice and manicured nice and crispy just nice and clean cut uh, if you're not following me yet follow me at on ig at j blends uh, if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button smash that like button and I appreciate you for watching.